the breaks are an indie rock band based in Stockport. Following in the likes of famous Manchester bands such as the Blossoms and the Stone Roses, they're performing live in smaller venues in the hopes to grow their audience and to share their music with the world. The band have over 4,000 monthly listeners on Spotify and BBC Radio Manchester have made their debut single Rose the Lemonade their track of the week. I'm here at the Deaf Institute in Manchester where the up and coming band are headlining for the first time. So what's been the main reaction to music so far? People have really enjoyed it. I've been surprised of how many listens it got. Because we, we like our songs but you can't gauge whether other people are so it's been really nice. So what would you say the struggles are of being an up and coming band in this day and age? When you're still playing like smaller venues it's tricky because often the places are over 18s only so a lot of people that would have been able to come don't turn up. So what advice would you give to other bands just starting out? Just like enjoy it, um, have fun, um, like write as much as you can, play as many live shows as you can and yeah just have fun. I asked some members of the audience to see what they like about their music. It's kind of different to like other people's music that's kind of going around now. I like, I like the uh, variety in it. Some of it's lower tempo, some of it's more upbeat. They really aren't my typical kind of music but they've got a lot of heart put into them. Manchester has a strong music history which has provided the world with names such as the Stone Roses and Oasis to more recent bands like the 1975 and the Blossoms. Smaller bands such as the Red Brits keep this history alive and continue to make great music for us to listen to.